Greetings to... <clears throat> Surprise Flex. I thought that people checked into my channel to partake in some of my ultimate wisdom and my insights, but it's actually because I am... Um, it's because of the surprise flexes, that's why I've brought them back to grow even further here on YouTube. So anyway, I have a fun thing I want to share with you. Something I didn't think would appear at all, but um, it has appeared. I will show it to you now, what sort of fun thing this is. Behold, YouTube silver play button. This will be the thumbnail of the video, by the way, so I flex my arm additionally. Uh, but I've already used up all of my narcissism points for the month, so um, I won't do any more flexes. Don't worry. Uh, so anyway, it took a bit of back and forth to get this, but if you have reached a hundred thousand subscribers with original content, which I have, you are deserving of it. So um, yeah, they gifted it to me and uh, yeah, thank you. It um, truly heartfelt. I also got a little letter. Now, obviously this isn't specific to me, but I thought it was quite, um, quite nice anyway. So I will just read it out to you and comment a bit on it. You've just done something that very few YouTube creators accomplish. You've had an astonishing 100,000 people subscribe to your channel. We know that numbers on YouTube can get really big, but we hope that you don't lose sight of the reality behind that six digit milestone. Each and every person who has subscribed to your channel has been touched by what you've created. They were inspired, challenged or entertained. Now a note here, since we are on YouTube, you need to entertain, otherwise people won't watch your content, but I've never been out to uh, primarily entertain. The entertainment part is just for um, a way to distribute some wisdom, so I'm here to inspire you and challenge you. That's why I do the Wild Hunt challenges, for example. Next one coming out in January, by the way, um, will be an epic one. Uh, then, of course, I also want to inspire you. So you can watch my training videos before hitting the gym, for example, or you can watch my Games Kitchen to um, you know, up your diet game, etc. Uh, then, of course, if I can be entertaining as well with surprise flexes and um, you know the semi-obnoxious narcissism, that's all good. Uh, but it's part of delivering a um, delivering a message of um, of enlightenment and wisdom. Moving on. You've achieved this milestone with hard work, perseverance, and probably a healthy sense of humor, too. What you've accomplished can't be taken away from you, and we'd like to recognize you and all of your hard work with this Silver Creator Award. A small token of esteem and respect. Now, this actually, yeah, it hit, um, it hit um, right in the heart. Uh, it has been a lot of hard work. It has been a lot of perseverance. And when I say YouTube is very hard work, I mean it. It's not tough work in the sense that you have a fisherman out on the Atlantic Ocean during a storm. It's not tough in that sense, but it's very hard work nonetheless, because you need to be on top of your game all the time. Otherwise, you, you won't grow. People won't watch your content. So it is a, um, if we're talking about sort of like a free market style um, economy, you need to be very good and you can't afford to make mistakes. And this is especially true for me. The path that I have chosen, I've never been given the benefit or the doubt or anything of the sort. I need to stay on top of my game. Uh, so it is hard work. I don't want anyone to think that just uh, having a YouTube channel and being in front of the camera is easy. It's uh, not easy in the least. If it was easy, more people would do it. So uh, yeah, it is a lot of hard work. It is a lot of perseverance, discipline, um, but for me, when I say it's hard work, it's still a luxury because if you have a creative side, such as I do, it's a luxury to be able to share it with uh, others and, um, you know, maybe inspire people, etc. Uh, so it's hard work, but it's also a luxury and very rewarding, but it's not easy. Uh, getting here was not easy in the least. It was hard, but also very rewarding. So I'm not saying this as I want sympathy. I want um, understanding. That is hard, but it's also a true luxury to be able to do these um, sort of things. Now, moving on with the letter. 
we know that you don't do this for a watch. Well, not entirely true. Of course, you do everything for a watch. And for me, it's absolutely amazing when people come up to me and, you know, they uh, have some good gains on their shoulders when I touch them and they say, you know what, I have gotten a girlfriend or I've stopped watching porn or I have started going to the gym or I got into an education I wanted or I signed up in the army because you recommend. I mean, these are the sort of rewards that are good. So yes, I do it for the rewards as well. Um, but there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I do the videos to get a desired result. I don't just want you to passively watch the channel. I want you to take my wisdom and then apply it in your life. That's why I do the videos. If you're just watching because it's fun when I flex or something, that's not really the point of it. It's for you to take action in your life to better yourself. That's um, that's the reward. Anyway, you do it because you have a drive to create and share and because you've found an audience who cares. That is actually quite true. I do have a drive to create. I absolutely love creating these videos. Um, perhaps not just, you know, standard videos like this, but if I have a cool idea for a training video, such as the quest for Atlantis, that was really fun to make because I had, you know, a clear vision in my mind. What sort of video do I want to make? What sort of aesthetics do I want to present? What sort of feel do I want to invoke in the people watching this? It was the feel of, you know, getting out, getting out in the sun, getting out on to the sea, uh, whether it is the ocean or a lake or whatever it might be. So when I create something like that, it's, um, yeah, it's very nice for me to, and to be able to share it as well and hopefully inspire people. So that is true. And I've found an audience who cares. Um, yeah, then again, I will be completely honest. I don't have a hundred thousand people who care. I have maybe a, um, maximum 10,000 people who cares or 5,000 or something, but, uh, no YouTuber should ever think that their entire subscriber base actually cares because that's not true. You have a lot of people who just watch some of the videos and then you have some who watches all, of course. Shout out to you all who are watching everything I do. Anyway, believe us when we say we can't wait to see what you do next. Okay. A million subscribers may seem a long way off right now, but you're closer than you think, and we're rooting for you. Congratulations. Yours sincerely, Susan Wojcicki, CEO, YouTube. Doubt. Allow me to express my doubt at that statement. I don't really know if you're rooting for me. I hope there are some in YouTube who are rooting for me. But if you were sincere with that statement, you would first and foremost remove any and all shadow bans you have upon me because I've noticed my reach over the last year hasn't really been what it should have been. Secondly, of course, you can re-monetize my channel. And now I have had a long back and forth with people on YouTube and I've asked, not, not exaggerating, but maybe five times exactly when and where have I broken any community guidelines. Because they said, you know what, you got demonetized because you spread harmful or hateful material, which I haven't done. Uh, it's simply a lie. If you say that you are a liar and I've called you out on it, I've said, you know, point exactly to where I have said anything hateful or harmful. In fact, all of my videos is about self-love, if anything, and about healthy behaviors. I've never said anything harmful. That's the opposite of my teachings. But anyway, I hope you will, someone at YouTube can just take a look at the channel and say, you know what, is this true? What uh, they demonetized him for? Is it uh, hateful or harmful? No, it's absolutely not. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a sheer lie. It's a pure lie. But uh, anyway, uh, it would be nice if you rooted for me. Then I am sure I could hit a million subscribers. But if you're not rooting for me, um, if you're not taking away the... Um, demonetization if you're not taking away the shadow ban it might be a bit hard but i will continue to spread the good word of enlightenment anyway and just try to and just try to get people to um well live better lives basically that's um the reward as we talked about uh, a minute ago the reward of creating something and inspiring people to do stuff so um anyway uh, i talked about reaching this milestone a while back when I just hit it, but it feels more real in a way now. So I thought to briefly elaborate upon it again, 
Um, and, uh, you know, I can share some wisdom as well, because as I mentioned, this channel is about spreading wisdom. Uh, so whichever video I do, it, it might be a random forest video log, it might be a Games Kitchen, it might be a Let's Play even. I always try to share some insights, at least. And this also goes into what I say with YouTube being hard work. Um, you have to stay updated, you have to be... You have to have a lot of wisdom to share, otherwise it's pointless if you're just getting attention for the sake of attention. I have gotten attention now for a lifetime, so now it's about what I do with the attention. Do I just want it to have people look at me and be relevant? No, I don't really care about that anymore. Now I want attention in order to bring out a good message. So if I make a clickbait video, I do it because I have something important to say. So I don't want attention for the sake of attention. I want attention to, yeah, if I have some, some good uh, insights to share. But anyway, if you are a YouTube creator or if you are any sort of similar thing, I want to give you some advice now. And that is, you don't need to make all the mistakes yourself. You can look to others. Um, I, unfortunately, I didn't really have anyone to look up to when I started. I didn't have anyone to take a good example from and I've posted a lot of cringe over the years a lot of cringe has been posted unfortunately um, if I look back at some older videos I um, yeah I'm not quite happy with how I conducted myself um, not primarily anything I said but it was more how I presented it and how I said it and um, yeah you know how it is but um, it is what it is it's a learning process and I'm very thankful for YouTube for um, you know having that sense of accountability so if you look on my um, everything if I look back at the very oldest videos I made I, I don't have them up now because they're so bad but just the language my English was uh, horrific um, I still have the Swedish um, accent of course um, it will stay with me but uh, it was quite quite bad to say the least in the beginning and I used to get called out on it as well you know what yo, you shouldn't speak English because it's so horrible etc so I had to just uh, you know take that criticism for what it was try to better it same thing with everything you know we can talk about such a thing as audio I know all podcasters and youtubers are obsessed with audio I've always I've also been obsessed with it. But, you know, you take these sort of things and try to optimize it. Because, as I said a minute ago, you can't really... You need to stay on top of everything. You, there is no time and place to not be into self-improvement. YouTube is basically self-improvement. You have to be better all the time. You need to stay on top of your game. Uh, I need to be on top of my mental game. I need to have a healthy diet. Well, big shout out to my wife as well, who is now my dietitian. She makes great uh, food for me and uh, takes great care of me. Uh, so I have to think about all of these different things. I can't not train hard, because if I don't train hard, why would anyone listen to me if I say that you should train hard? Why would you listen to me to have a clean diet if I wouldn't have a clean diet? So for me, being accountable, because I have so many eyes upon me, yeah, it's a luxury. It might be hard but it's also something good that you have that responsibility and that's also something I encourage everyone take as much responsibility for as many things as you possibly can first and foremost for yourself because if you don't live in accord with your own ideals why should anyone else listen to you so for me it has been a long self-improvement journey and I'm very thankful well, for YouTube, even though I've had my issues with YouTube over the last um, year, I'm still thankful for having gotten this opportunity to just, um, you know, develop myself, being able to share and create so many good things. So, um, yeah, good times, good times. And, uh, yeah, thank you for watching and listening to this uh, perhaps incoherent rant, but um, I just wanted to share my joy with you. So, anyway, if you haven't already subscribed you can do so if you haven't smashed the notification button please do it also so you see every time i upload and uh yeah i try to do some gaming videos because i know there are guys who perhaps are in a bad situation mentally they just want to hear my voice perhaps not my voice per se but a familiar voice to just have in the background or something or to watch etc so i make a lot of let's plays for those guys or just the ones who want the company 
Then, of course, the more heavy, hard-hitting, regular videos, the forest video logs also, um, with important knowledge. So anyway, I will um, hit the gym or um, cuddle a bit with my daughter. The Princess of Ultimate Cuddles is, um, is her title. So anyway, thank you for watching and thank you again for all your support over all these years. XXO, boo!